Jeff. Hey, Jada, how you doing? Jeff in Las Vegas. Good morning. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Talk about Apple Music's 100 best albums of all time. So great to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, the countdown has begun uh, and uh, it's exciting because I love when people do lists. But when it comes to art, like movies, movies, uh, music or books, no one has no one can agree on what's the best of all time, can they? <laughs> I mean, you're right about that. <laughs> and, and it really is difficult to try to narrow it down when you've got only 100. Like it was an enormous feat and such a challenge for us to say, OK, we want to create a list, but we want it to serve as a modern 21st century list of the greatest albums of all time. And how do you do that? You know, and, and we came to a consensus somehow through through lots of a healthy debate, maybe some unhealthy debate, people, you know, us championing for our personal picks. Um, we, we did it and we're all really proud of this list. And what are some of your favorites that are on the list? Oh, I mean, how much time you got, Jeff? I mean... <laughs> If you want a, a top 10, I mean, sure. well, okay, let's go a little bit past that. What I do love is that we've centered the focus of this list, not in the 60s or 70s, but in the 90s. So there's so many beautiful hip hop records that we've had time to spend with. Hip hop has been such a driver of pop culture. So we get to include these incredible albums like Jay-Z, The Blueprint, um, like The Chronic, Dre from 92, Kendrick's here in the top 10 um, with Good Kid, Mad City. There's so many beautiful records um, from hip hop that we get to shine a light on. 22 of our 100 albums are hip hop, followed by soul, followed by R&B, and then pop and rock. And it's just been such a pleasure to put it together. I'm saying, Jade, you know, I'm Generation X and I looked at the top 10. I never heard half the five, five of them out of the 10. I feel so old. Jeff, this is such a great opportunity, though. This actually happened to me as well. I went through it and I went, oh, well, what's that? I mean, I don't know. Last time I heard Radiohead, I don't know if I spent time with the whole album. OK, computer, no one come for me or do. Um, but it was one of those things where this list is an opportunity. If you want to take it, you can go through that door experience the album, you know, flip on the lyrics and then go through the lyrics as you're listening to the album, read the editorial notes that are so thoughtfully laid out for you so you can get to know the artist, their intention, what they're going through at the time and really get the real feel of the album. And where can people find a complete uh, list of all the albums that Apple's put out? Of course, you can always go to Apple Music, but we also created a beautiful, gorgeous microsite that is easy to share through your socials and things like that. And again, those thoughtful album notes from our editorial team are just so beautiful. So please check out 100best.music.apple.com. I, I will absolutely do that because I'm going to listen to those five albums in the top 10 that I've never heard. I've heard the artist, but I've never heard it. So I'm excited to find out what all the buzz is about. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, let's talk again soon. Thank you. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you.